The video I am going to analyze today is a skincare routine video from a girl named as Zoe. In this video, I will mainly focus on three parts, which are camera settings and lightings, voice track and subtitle and editing. This 16 and a half minutes long video can be divided into two parts, so I will analyze the two parts separately. The first part is the record of her skincare routine, and the second part is her introducing all the products she used in the previous part. Let's first look at her recording. The camera is set behind her and is facing a big mirror, which allows her to see herself and to monitor what is filming in the camera. What I learned from it, this is if I look directly in the camera, it shows that I have my audience. But if I don't look at the camera, the video I make will become more casual and everyday-like. The camera itself is in the picture, so it's easy to understand how she filmed this clip. She used a tripod to make the camera reach the right height, which was able to take pictures of her face and only her face. And she didn't change the position of her camera during the whole process, which shows the fluency of her skincare process. But the lighting here is, isn't quite nice because there is only a light shining from above. So people can see that there is only light on the top of her head and most of her face is in the shadows. There's only background music that is probably smooth jazz music here and no human voices, which creates a lazy and comfortable atmosphere. Okay, now let's move to the second part of this video. In this part, the camera is just in front of her and you can see her upper body and face appeared in the center of the screen. Meanwhile, her background is relatively clean and is probably in front of a door. So it's easy to focus my attention only on her body and her face. The only thing that may distract my attention is this part. And you can see there are some bottles on the table uh, in this part. For example, here, when she holds this product, it seems that the bottle is leading my eyes to the things appearing behind. Some suggestion here is just keeping those unimportant things out of the camera. The lighting here helps Zoe a lot for the audience to focus on her too. It can be seen from the reflection of her glasses that there is a relatively large circle-shaped field light behind the camera. The light makes her face more bright and clear. In addition, this kind of lighting can make her face look more shiny and skin quality better, which is very consistent with the theme, which is the skin care of her video today. It can make the audience think that the products she recommends are more effective, so as to achieve the effect of product promotion. When she wants to show the products in more detail, she will zoom the lens closer and focus on the product itself, so that the audience can see their, these skin care products more directly and carefully. Finally, for the subtitles on the screen, she will print the brand's name and the name of this product so that the audience can search for them. When she wants to emphasize some ingredient of the item, she will also type it in the left corner of the screen. It's really a good way to point out some important or difficult information that the video makers want their audience to notice, which is something that I can apply in my videos too. That's all for the analysis. Thank you for watching.